Hey you guys, today I want to go over 5 tips I have for you going into Final Fantasy 16. This is a combat related channel, so all of this will be tips and tricks for the combat of Final Fantasy 16. Also if you hear sounds in the background, my son loves this game with the timely accessories, uh, so he is sitting beside me playing it. <laughs> the first thing in the combat that I found incredibly helpful was changing your camera. There is a setting in the system under camera settings called follow target. What this does is once you defeat an enemy, it will actually auto-target the next enemy and turn your camera to face them. I found this really helpful when you're surrounded by mobs uh, and might get the camera stuck in one corner of the room or in one area, and so as you fight through, you're still able to kind of keep an eye on everything else. The HUD also gives you a pretty good indicator of who's attacking and who's around you. While we're talking about mods, the next tip I have is to use your abilities on cooldown. There's no consequence to using these abilities, uh, there's no MP or any kind of charge to it, except for the time it takes to recharge after you use the attack. Especially when you're fighting mobs, just, just be mindful of being able to switch between icons and use all of these abilities to its fullest. Torgal is also really helpful, there's three abilities that he has, two are attacking abilities and one is a heal. The heal will give you uh, a regen on your health. The other two are just normal attacks, but if you use Torgal at the end of a combo, it'll actually power up that attack. So be really mindful of making sure that you are following up your combo with Torgal because it's just free damage. Kind of in the same lines, make sure that you're using magic and attacking together. Not only does it speed up your attack animations by canceling out the animation, allowing you to follow up with another attack, but it also does additional damage, with the last magic burst being a more powerful magic finisher. Just these free damage things that you want to start practicing now with the demo to get yourself ready for the full game. Another thing to practice while you're playing the demo is dodging and parrying. Dodging is just going to give you precision dodge, which you can follow up with an attack or a magic burst. Parrying is actually going to slow down the enemy and allow you to get in a bunch of extra attacks. Now is the perfect time to start learning about those because that can really change up the flow of battle. Last but not least, don't hold your limit break. This thing builds up incredibly fast. It's a waste to just hold it for a boss fight or hold it for like a bunch of enemies. Use it on cooldown if you can, or obviously if you're fighting a boss, hold out for that stagger, but don't use it right when they stagger. Use all your abilities on cooldown, then shift into limit break, which should help you attack enough to you know get a bunch of good damage in, but then also as they're coming out of that stagger, you can really do a lot of damage with the limit break to pull down that stagger bar again. So just be mindful about how you use the limit break and don't just hold it for uh, bosses or sub bosses. It's incredibly helpful for those single enemies, but also for mobs. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. A huge thank you to Ryu Rush for editing this video. I am uh, have a lot going on right now in my personal life, so I'm not able to have the time to edit this. So he, <laughs> he graciously took on some work um, to help me out. So I really, really appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a subscription. I'm going to be doing a ton of combat analysis and combat guides for Final Fantasy 16. If you're looking forward to Final Fantasy 16 and need something to tide you over, I did a breakdown on all of the iconic abilities in this game so far that we know of. Uh, so click the card on screen to see that, and I'll see you in the next video.